Value of y. If they ask only to find the value of y, do it. Otherwise, direct substitute. 
Minus nineteen by eight. Minus nineteen by. Who said that one? Aditya. Seventeen. Yes, the previous year we did return out there. She return out two x plus one. So answer is x equal to minus half or minus nineteen by eight. Okay. Is it the answer you got? <coughs> what is the value of y you got? So minus seven by four and two. Ah, so then you substituted, or what did you do? Yes, I substituted. Right. What x is equal to five pi by eight? What are the values you got? X is equal to pi by eight and x is equal to pi by two. So it's right. It's the wrong. Okay, So, if you are doing this on y equal to two, two x plus three is equal to two. You got now. So two x plus three. So that itself is wrong now. Two x is equal to minus one. X equal to minus one. First value on y is equal to two. You got now. Yes. Sir. What is the value of y? Two x plus three now. Yes, sir. So two x plus three is equal to two in the omit. Two x is two minus three now. Yeah. 
Let me see you're going to fall, you got? Yes, sir. Six. What is the value of L? Four. 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 And it is equal to four. Okay. Now substitute and find the other solution. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it the getting the answer? You get that one. What is minus six into one? Six. Minus six into one is minus six now. So that factors are wrong now. Three two are how much? Minus three and minus two now. We can. Minus three and minus. The minus six was there, then the other one. Done. Are you waiting for it to complete? But splitting. Who is that? Sir, my name. Pratik Sandar. Where is your holding? Where is your holding? Because I came from Nerul, sir. So Nerul, sir, coming from Nerul means the holding cannot be carried. Why do you do that? Why do you do that? And no one is holding. So my final answer is M is equal to 4 and the other root is? Other root is not 3 or 3. Other root is? Already one root is given now. Check what is given now. What is x? We question you check now. What is given? C three. Therefore, other root is two. Okay, your answer is m is equal to four and other root is two. You go by and proceed. Come with your notebook. There's a place for you. Prime C. Sir, my volume. Volume of the thing now. What C? I'm very wondering. Okay, sir, completed all of you? Okay. Yes, sir. Very close. Come here. What happened? You did not do the homework. I, what happened? Come, next question. What is the next question? We will explain to you now. Don't worry. Okay. Left, left, left. X upon A, no? First is X upon A, no? Yes. X upon A minus A plus B upon X plus B upon X is equal to B times A plus B in bracket A plus B upon AX.
Explain this question again. Six step I have to explain. Tell me. All questions first. From the start. Here, here, the question which we solved. Listen here. First one it is take the LCM. LCM is taken AX. Yes. So X into X is X square. This A will be multiplied. Understood or not? The, denom the denominators are same. It will be cancelled. Okay. Since X to. Uh, x cannot be 0, that is why it can be cancelled because if x equals 0, it is not defined. Now, open the bracket minus a into a minus a square minus b into a minus a. Open. Then shifted everything to left right side. x square is equal to that. a square plus 2ab plus b square is added. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, why your camera is off? Are you still your camera is not off? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, it is seventy percent done. It will only take two to five minutes. Sir, I am extremely sorry. Okay. Pratik, huh? are you done? Work is done. Yes, sir. I am seventh. Seventh one. Question number seven. Minus one and three are the roots of x square plus p x plus q is equal to zero. X equals to minus one. Sir, it's lengthy sum. Minus one and which one? Three. Three. Are the roots of x square plus px plus q is equal to zero. Pratik, how to do this one? Sir, x is equal to minus one and x is equal to three. Then we will substitute first x is equal to one. You will get an one. equation in terms of p and q. Then x is equal to three. Another equation p and q. Then you can solve it. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Listen. All of you listen, I will a uh, little more simpler way I'll do it. Now, look here, x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to 3 are the roots now. Yes, sir. Therefore, x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0. That means x plus 1 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Or oh, this color is, is it you have Wait, can it be online people? Maybe. Now multiply. Yes, what will you get here? x square minus 3x plus 1x minus 3. That is x square minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now the equation is given as x square plus px plus q is equal to 0. Compare the coefficient before comparing each other. Listen now. Compare the coefficient means first and foremost thing is if it is x square means here also should be x square. Maybe if it was coming 2x square means you have to divide. Make the coefficient same. Then only equate. Therefore, minus 2 is equal to p. Therefore, p is equal to minus 2. And the minus 3 is equal to q. q is equal to minus 3. What which the signs of x square minus 2x are negative? No, p value. Coefficient of x is how much? Minus 2. What is the coefficient of x? Therefore, p is equal to minus 2. Value of p is minus 2. If you put minus 2, it will come up plus minus. And constant is what? Minus 3. What is the step you have a doubt? Nothing you have followed. No, sir. I have followed. You here you followed? Yes, sir. Now, it is the roots of this equation. So, the equation is x square plus p x plus q equal to 0. Yes. Therefore, a is equal to 1. So, a is equal to 1. B is equal to minus 2. Your B is equal to same. Both are same equation. You will write 1 and 2 represent the same equation. Therefore, A will be same as A. B will be same as B. C will be same as C. Therefore, minus 2 is equal to B. Minus 3 is equal to Q. Okay? 
Even the other one is not that difficult, only twice simultaneously you have to solve that. This will be a little easier. Answer. Answer will remain the same in both the cases. Okay. Any problem? What is the discussion Kushagra is going on? What is which question you people are discussing? Omar Khan. Yes, sir. So this exercise is done now? Yes, sir. No. Tell me which, which question you have doubts in the homework exercise. First question. First question, fourth part. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Third question. Third question. Third question. Yes, Two bracket x square minus six equals to three bracket x minus four. Open the value. No, two x square. So what do we get? Two x square minus twelve is equal to three x minus twelve. No, so minus twelve minus twelve cut. No, take x as common. Take x as common. What do we get? X into bracket two x minus three. Yes or no? So x equal to zero. One solution you got. Two x minus three equal to zero. Second. Yes. What was your problem? Three. Sir, x plus one x equal to two point five. Two point five is same as how much? Five by two. Two point five is same as how much? Five by two. LCM and cross multiply. You will get now. I think answer is two and one by two. Question number one nine twelve. Question number one nine twelve. Read the question. Five upon x minus two minus three upon three upon x plus six is equal to four by x. What is the problem? So how can LCM take now? Five times x plus six minus three times x minus two all divided by x minus two times x plus six is equal to four upon x. Simplify and cross multiply. But then what will uh, x cross multiply? It will go to the numerator now. Yes. It will be no automatically. What it, uh, tell me what is the first step you said? Pi times? Cross multiplication. Uh, no, before. What did I tell? Cross multiplication of Before the cross multiplication, what was the thing I said, my dear? Hmm? LCM, pi times x plus 6 now. Yes, then I can x plus 6 minus 3 times x minus 2. Uh, upon? Upon x minus 2. Times x plus x is equal to four by x. So first one simplification you can do now. Five x plus thirty minus three x plus six. Upon if you want x square plus six x minus two x. Here last you know three four people I don't know how many people are listening. Ah, to you, I am going to call one by one to do the sums on the board. Yeah, I need, I don't know how many people are listening and seriously going on. Coming and sitting over here, you will not learn anything. I am telling you seriously. After that, you know, a school exam, Mark will not come. I am seriously telling. When these sums to doing means you know, listen. So that you will get the idea how it is. If you are done, fine. But how much you are following and all, think about. Otherwise, it's not coming out here and UT came and gone. That is not going to benefit you. Now, over here, so this is coming as how much? X times 5 minus 3 is 2X plus 3X, 36. Is equal to 4 times X square plus 4X minus 12. Are you followed? Ishmeet? Sir, you multiply the denominator of this. Cross multiply, no. Yes. Then open the bracket, you can do now 2x square plus 36x is equal to 4x square plus 16x minus 48. So 2x square, if I want to wear over, I will shift over here, minus 2x square. 36 minus 16 is plus 20x plus 48. Are you followed? Yes. You can divide by minus 2. x square minus 10x minus 20. You know which are the factors? Sir, 12 and 2 is 5 and 2. No. 12 and 2. 12 and 2. Minus 12 and 2. Not 6 and 4. Yes, sir. Okay, Because 24 comes 6 plus 4 is 10. So, it will be 5. Very good. 
that is the thing. Be careful, like that. So that is these are the mistakes commonly happen. Okay now. Any other problems? All of you listen here. This exercise is done now. So for an equation, are there roots and a lot of conditions? I did not ask, you know, last class I asked so equal condition for equal punishment was given to me. You said uh you said the last one. Should I ask again? Yes, sir. Now look here. All of you listen now. We are going to the next part. It is coming as so we have done as one of the method is factorization, zero product rule we applied. Yes. There is another method is called, it is called completing the square method, which is not there, but one statement I'll show you this one. X square minus 10x minus 24 is equal to 1. No. Now, splitting middle term is the simplest form, but factors you have to get that is very important. Now, over here, if I shift this 24 to the right side, so what I get x square minus 10x is equal to 24. Now, I said the term, it is property is called completing the square, means I am going to make this as a square. Then you can take the square root. If you are making one side square, means automatically other side you can take the square root. This is of the form a square minus 2a. To make the square, what we need? Identity a square minus 2ab plus b square. So we need to add b square. So what could be the value of b? B is how zero is gone. B is coming and look here. How to get this one means half the coefficient of x. What is the coefficient of x? 10. A minus also no need to require. 10 you take. The minus 10 also taking no problem. Half coefficient of x is how much? 5. Add 5 square throughout. Throughout means both sides. Plus 5 squares is equal to 24 plus 5 square. Now check, is it of the form identity form? A square, B square, 2 A. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, what is this one? X minus 5, the whole square. Is equal to pi square 25 plus 24 14. Okay, then therefore x square root 5 is equal to 7. X minus 5 is equal to 7. X minus 5 is equal to minus 7. X is equal to 7 plus 5, that is equal to 12. X is equal to minus 7 plus 5 minus 7. This method is called completing the square. Now, this method so can explain again uh, that how we got the five square. Half the coefficient of x. Okay, coefficient of x is how much? 10. Half coefficient of x is coming as what? 5. Okay, so 5 square. It's this property process is not required. I tell you why I did this one. Now, this one can be used for even irrational roots also. You must have seen in the splitting middle term, you know, there was splitting middle term generally it is not possible for irrational roots. For example, if I tell like this one, let's say, I'll show that also. But let's say x squared minus 4x, let's say minus 1 equal to 0. Can you split the middle term? Minus 4x or plus 4x. Can you split the middle term? Yes. Yes. Product is how much? Minus one. One Cowley factor is one into one rupee. Isn't it? But four, nowhere it will come. If I want to you do this method, I'll show you. X square plus 4x is equal to one. Check what is the half coefficient of x. Two. Two square adds. X square plus 4x plus two square is equal to one plus two square. What is this much? X plus two the whole square. B square. Okay, that is then only it will come a square plus b square plus 2ab is equal to what is 2 square? Take the square root x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus root 5. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2 shifted plus or minus root 5. So, you got the two solutions. Which are the two solutions? Minus 2 plus root 5 minus 2 minus root 5. This is this one, who is that? Sir, Whatever it is there, you just switch it off. Next time I should not hear. This is the third time I am hearing. Next time I hear means I will take it and give it to the office. 
No, it is clear. Okay. Now, this process is not required. Why I have given this one, shown this one means look here for the we have the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. The same process I am going to do it that is ax square plus bx is equal to how much? Minus c. Minus c. C will go. Now, to apply this one, first I will divide throughout by a. Then a square will come. No, divide throughout a means what you get? x square plus b by a x is equal to minus c by a. Now tell me what the half coefficient of x. No need to write this out. What is the, what is the coefficient of x? b by a. Half coefficient of x is half b by a b by 2a. So I will add x square plus b by a x plus b by 2a the whole square is equal to b by 2a the whole square minus c by c. How did you get this one followed? No. Half point. Now we check a square plus b square plus 2ab. That is x plus b by 2a the whole square is equal to, if you write this one, b square upon 4a square minus c by a. Take its LCM. What is the LCM of 4a square and a? 4a square. So what will you get? b square minus 4ac. Yes or no? That is x plus b by 2a the whole square. Take the square root, what will you get? Check, tell me. Take the square root and tell me. x plus b by 2a is equal to plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac. Are you identifying this term upon 2a? Yes or no? Is b square minus 4ac a familiar one? Yes, sir. Now, now what I do? Shift that b by 2a to the right side. x equal to minus b by 2a. Plus or minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Same common denominator means minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. This is your quadratic formula. X is equal, this is the formula. Quadratic formula is X. Huh? What happened? Now am I visible, sir? Yes, you are visible. So x is equal to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Okay. This okay. derivation I don't know, no need to write. Who learned this formula? Yes, yeah. sir. Raise the hand. You know now? Okay, tell the formula. Minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Well, you minus b plus root here yeah. plus under root b square minus four plus minus under root b square minus four ac by two a. by two a. Okay, so a this is called the quadratic formula. Now here we will discuss. You all learned what are you doing? You are writing this one. I will give, I'll give you the formula. Don't Right, heading right. Solution by quadratic formula. But no. Huh. Solution by message is gone also. Solution by quadratic formula. Return. Solution by quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. Return. Right. Consider the equation. Consider the equation. A x square plus B x plus C equal to zero. Consider the equation. A x square plus B x plus C equal to zero. Yes, sir. Next line. If B square minus 4 A C greater than or equal to zero. If B square minus 4 A C greater than or equal to zero. Then solution is solution is x is equal to minus b plus or minus etc on the board minus b plus or minus 
root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a without mistake please write down sir in exam would they ask uh, the derivation no derivations minus b plus minus root of b square mm -hmm. minus 4ac upon 2a written all of you okay formula written that 2a is completely below not only the term okay understood or not yes. now formula learned now look here this is the first condition we not about these are the roots nature of the roots you are remembering if the roots are real and equal then what is the condition minus b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 see just what b square minus 4ac equal to 0 what like minus b plus or minus root 0 by 2a root 0 is 0 it means minus b by 2a how many roots are there only one root this value is equal to 0 no b square minus 4ac so minus b plus or minus root of 0 root of 0 is 0 so minus b plus or minus 0 is minus b upon 2a how many roots you get one root understood or not yes second if b square what happened why discussions are going on so he is asking what is the condition for minus b and minus b by 2. That is, if it is the value of b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, the solution become minus b by 2. Now, if b square minus 4ac less than 0, imaginary, you know, imaginary means see, root of negative value, can you find out? No, that is why it is imaginary. Understood? If b square minus 4ac greater than 0, so you will get two different values now, distinct values, minus b plus or minus, let's say b square minus 4ac is let's say 16, so minus b plus or minus root 16, that is 4, so two different values you get, okay, and over there, uh, since it is 16 means the root it goes and it becomes a rational, if it was instead of, b, instead of 16, where b square minus 4ac is 12, then root 12 will be coming. The roots are irrational. That is right. Okay, these are all interrelated things. It's not that you know directly one is something and And while solving this one, if you used to do it completely and you do it, I prefer always first you find out b square minus 4 x then apply. There are no additional steps because anyway you have to find out over here. Okay, because you will identify also. Now remember if the b square minus 4 x is negative. No need to solve this one at all. No solution. Or imaginary you write. Don't substitute and keep it over there. Is it clear? Yes, okay. So formula all of you have learned? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can do it now? Yes, sir. Yes, Next class I will ask you the formula. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So solve by one question, right? Solve by quadratic formula. Solve by quadratic formula. Very good. Yes, I will give you a question. 3x squared. Minus 2x minus, let's say, 8 equal to 0. Sir, I was doing one sum. 3x square minus sir, 2x. I, you are, who asked you to do the sum? Sir, sir. sir what? we will be 3x. What is the value? Right. What is a? a is equal to how much? 3. 3. B is equal to? Minus, minus 2. C is equal to? Minus 8. Minus eight. Find out what is the value of B square minus 4ac. After that, use the formula. Yes, Got B square minus 4 AC? Fast. Yes, sir. You can solve it. The remaining part. Minus 2 whole square minus Sir, 4 do. times 3 times minus 8. Minus 4 plus 96. 100. All of you got 100? Yes. Then formula x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Now, minus b, b is minus 2, means minus b is 2, plus or minus root 100 upon 2 times 3, which is equal to x is equal to Arshita following, 2 plus or minus Ishita following, 
six. Then two plus ten divided by six, or two minus ten by six. Twelve by six, or minus eight by six. Twelve by six is two, or minus four by six. Two comma minus four by three. The same answer, Dr. Swastika. Yes, sir. Look here. Sir, what same answer? Now listen here. This one factorization is very simple. Not this many steps and all. But if they ask to do by formula method, we have to do by this method. Now the next is. It's not necessary. This will be always a perfect square value. Okay, yes, not perfect square means answer will be in terms of root. Now, for finding the root, there is a table is there. Square root table will be there. Generally, always it will be given in your examination as a table. Okay. Sir, it's given in this. All of you listen, I'll tell you now. Now, this one that you should know how to learn. Most of the book, I'll tell you. Okay, you should know how to learn the table. So, next class, all of you must carry your textbook also. So, in a textbook behind it is the table is there. So I'll explain for you, sir, later. Directly some 20 and 30 other, now three digit number, four digit number, or decimals are number, how to find out directly. Basically, not decimal, like three digit number. So they give us the two top. They, they will not give the generally, the, they will be giving a table of values. Okay, like there's a table is there, table of three, four pages are yes. from there. Suppose it is coming up. 1020. Ma'am, it will be given to 100, but 200 tables will be given. 1 to 10 will be given. There are things are given. Okay. Ma'am, it's given. But 100 to 1000 will be given. 2 pages will be given. I'll show you the table is the same table they will give in the exam. Okay, ma'am. Yes. So, method is clear. Yes, sir. If table is given, you have to simplify and do it. Otherwise, there is no need. Generally, you don't need to do the square root by division method. It's not required. Okay. So, take the exercise. 5.3. Pratik, what happened? Sir, finally. Finally? Huh? Who asked you to do the third sub? Homer not done and coming in thirdly. Mommy, today? He got online. You also? No, you did the homework? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. Exercise 5.3. Arshita, formula learned. Why? 3 times you just keep on writing automatically you learn. How many of you learn this formula? Sir, I can do majority this. Learn. Almost only 3 or 2, 3 or 4 only not learn. You have to learn. Are you writing and writing? You will learn. No, not required. You do the question in your book. Did Pratik read the first question? X square minus 6. Solve each of the following equation using the formula. Hmm. X square minus 6x equal to 27. X square minus 6x is equal to 27. So First, you make into the standard form always. Yes. Now, uh, one more thing. Coefficient of x square, nothing is given, means 1. A is equal to 1. B is equal to minus 6. C is equal to minus 27. This way, these all steps are compulsory to write. Next is b square minus 4ac. Minus 6 all square. Minus 4 times 1 times minus 27. 36 plus 27, 108, which is equal to 1, 4, 4. x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of. Write the formula, then you will learn by two ways. Replace minus b means b is minus 6 means minus b is 6 plus or minus root of 144 by 2 times 1. 6 plus or minus 12 divided by 2. So separate into two parts. First is 6 plus 12 divided by 2. Second one is 6 minus 12 divided by 2. 6 plus 12 is 18 by 2 or minus 6 by 2. Then so so. Or minus. Or are you getting the answer? Yes. Anywhere, if you have a problem, please tell. Sir, sir. Check the steps. Yes. What happened? Sir, we had answers given wrong. 
Your answers are given wrong. You got the same answer. Yes, sir. I got the word second. Second. You did not get the answer. Why? 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 Why
minus 2 plus or minus root 2 and root 8 is equal to 2 root 2. Follow or not? We have to write further also minus 2 plus root 2. Ah, there are two solutions. Minus 2 plus root 2. This way also fine. Okay. Sir, can you explain that how you got 2 and minus 2 plus minus root 2 by root 2? For the last step. Value of root 2, you know, that's a table when it is given, you can substitute. Okay. Now, value of root 2, yes, what is your Generally, you will give on the table. So then value of root 2 will substitute. Then simplify. What is your problem, Aditya? Sir, can you explain the last step which you solved? Okay, root, two, root 8 is equal to 4 times 2. Okay. That is 2 root 2. Are you following this one? Yes, sir. And take common factor from these two. 2 is taken common, minus 2 plus or minus root 2. Yes, and sir. Cancel by 2 and answer. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Rasi, every 2 seconds you don't need to raise your time. Hmm? Yes, sir. He's already done now. No. I did not give the homework part. Why, exercise. Last exercise homework. Complete the, the last exercise. Yes, sir. Oh, complete, complete the last. last five point two complete. And exercise five point two. Also bring your silica textbook. Okay, sir. So that you know these simplifications. Maybe little why you say something. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. Let's begin now. Begin. Sorry, what? Let's yeah, yeah. We will discuss the previous things by then. Please settle down. We will go somewhere with me. All right. So, what did we do in last class? We have to Aditya and Swastika. All right. So what did we do in last class? Can I have a quick recap? Which chapter are we also Did we solve any numericals? Yes, ma'am. No one, yes. Ma'am, two different numericals are there. On page number 26. So I'll begin with the one question itself. Let me check. Uh, who all would correct? Uh, is this color visible to Aditya and Swastika, or should I change the? No, oh, ma'am. Ma'am, can you use black? Ma'am, red is not visible. All right. So please start. Uh, everyone is here. Right? Can I start? Now, all right, all right. Others can start. I will discuss with them. The question is, you have to solve this. The question is, this object is at this position. All right. Position, weight is 3 kg, it slips downward and it 
What question is this? The, the question I'm repeating again for you, Shonya. There is a three kg body at the tip over here of the inclined plane. Due to gravity, it starts slipping downwards and it reaches this point. I want you to tell me, of course, this body starts moving down because of which force due to gravity. So I am asking you, what is the work done by the force of gravity, okay? And I want you to solve it and properly show it to me. And uh, please, uh, sorry. Ma'am, is this question there in the textbook? <laughs> the, it, this question was already, kind of similar question was already done in last class. I hope you remember. But this yeah. question is my own number but the question is from your if not textbook the concept is already done okay. yes you can take g as 10 meter per second square i will not make it that difficult for you take g as 10 meter per second I want you to please show me the complete work. I have already given you the hint that it starts slipping down due to force of gravity. We have I don't know. Yes, my one fifty root three. All right, Swastik, I got your answer. I will uh, recommend all of you to the ones who have told me the answer. Take a look uh, at your theta, and in the very previous class, I said. Theta is angle between what and what? Angle between and displacement and force. Force. important So angle between displacement and force. This is my displacement. In which direction is my force acting? ये ये thirty degree क्या वो angle बता रहा है? ये तो बिल्कुल ये ऐसा direction में जा रहा है ये displacement. This is not the theta for the formula which you are using. That formula is correct. But theta is not certainly yes. So, 
Because last class I was absent. All right. So, so the formula is the work is equal to cos F S cos theta, and uh, I stress that this cos theta, the theta component, is very important. You can't just take any angle as okay. आपने यहाँ पे क्या कहते हैं thirty degree दिया है. आपने simply formula में F S और cos thirty लगा दिया. It is very important in physics to understand what theta of your concept means. The concept in this uh, case, which is work, this theta means angle between force and displacement. And in this case, force is acting in which direction? Downwards. And displacement is in which direction? This direction. So this theta is actually your this theta. It the formula means this work. How? Because this theta is angle between displacement and force, and this which the force acts on it is the force of gravity, which is perpendicular downward direction. So this is the theta. So instead of thirty, you know this is thirty, you know this is ninety, then this is what sixty. So now if you use the same formula and you put f and s value, which is nothing but what thirty into ten. And now, instead of cos 30, you will take cos 60. 60. And how much is cos 60? One by one. Then the answer is one by one. Two cos 30. One by one. 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 One Half cos sixty का cos sixty is half इसके लिए sin thirty क्या है root three upon half नहीं sin sixty upon two और sin thirty upon one sin thirty one by two है cos sixty के one by two अभी आपको वो याद रखना पड़ेगा so cos sixty is one by two so that is why this one by two any other doubts let's clear one by one This is force is thirty kg का mass है and force क्या होगा m into g so m is three and g is ten because I made it very easy for you I told take g as this so it is m g for force and s is ten and this is force theta any other doubt is this done okay I believe henceforth You will think twice before using theta whenever you are solving, and I hope never ever. Yes, we learned it. You have to for upper thirty, forty, five, sixty, or ninety. Ko to pata hona chahiye. Which grade? It is tenth grade, na? This is ICSE. Trigonometry was done in which class? Nine. All right. So. What 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 are you saying, beta? Chala rodi. Are you saying chala rodi? The three things. Topper three things. All all right. All right. All right. I'm expert on this. I'm not even now. I'm not even on this. I'm not expert on this. Okay, now we are now moving to another concept, which is. What? So now we are done with work. Now we will see what is power and how power and everything is different. So power is how do we define power? 
work of one time the rate of the the power is defined as rate at which work is done and when we use the word rate we mean upon time yeah with respect to time so we are saying rate at which work is being done so work upon time that is power and can someone whom i ask uh, the one at the last can you tell me si unit of power now nobody else will answer You don't have to see there. Here is the formula. SI unit for work is what? What is it? Ah, for work it is what? Okay, and for time it is what? Okay, so joules per second is unit for power, and we define. One joule per second, as we name it as what? Watt. So we call it one watt. So the other way of saying SI unit of power is we call it what? Capital W. Yes. Ma'am, actually, a bobbin, a bobbin, bobbin is newton meter, right? The SI unit is newton meter. Very good. So one newton meter is defined as one.
five seconds, and all of this happens in five seconds. The first thing that they are asking is calculate the work done. Why can't we convert two point five meters into centimeter and then keep it as kgf per centimeter? Go oh, again. What did you say? Why can't we convert two point five meters into uh two fifty centimeter, like into centimeter? Okay, but if you convert it into centimeter, can we can we have some silence? He is saying that this is two point five meter. Why can't we convert this into centimeter? And then get some answer. So, sorry, even if you convert this in centimeter, you will not be able to convert everything in CGS unit because if you are converting this in centimeter, you have to convert this in terms of CGS unit. And what is CGS unit? You will have to convert that. So, you have to convert this thing kgf also gram. into gram per multiplied by the other thing. So, it's better to put everything in SI unit because it is very convenient for us to convert kgf into SI unit form, which is our tool. So, 1 kgf, we know what is 1 kgf that is equal to 1 into our g value. Newton. I hope you remember. Right? So, my G value, here they have asked me to take what? 10. So, 1 kgf is equal to 10 newton. So, 200 kgf will be how much? 200 into 10 newtons. Newtons may have to 2.5 meter and then you get the answer in SI unit. Remember, what if we like just multiply 200 into 2.5 and don't convert kgf into newton. So, 200 into 2.5 and kgf per centimeter. Then after the final answer, units back up, units back up changes per kgf. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? So Every we'll keep it into kgf per centimeter instead of joule, if I do it that way. So if you're putting, okay, here others will answer. This is a very interesting question that he has raised. He is saying, and everybody needs to answer this properly. I want you to look ahead. I don't know why it's still that power the effect is happening. <laughs> okay, so Shorya is saying that what if we keep this as kgf, right? We are keeping this as kgf. We are keeping this as uh, meter. This is what you said, Shorya? No, kgf and centimeter. Converted into centimeter. Convert this into centimeter. Okay, yeah, so, so 250 centimeter. In this case, how is he complicating? You will tell me because 
because whenever you have to always check the dimensions. So your one factor is in kgm, the other one is in centimeter, and work is what? Work is force into displacement. And if I normally see and I put it in terms of mass, length, and time factor, this is dimensional analysis. I'm telling just to uh, keep it uh, clear. So in this form, everything should be uniform. So by mass in terms of kg, length in terms of uh, meter, and time in terms of second. If I'm putting mass in terms of gram, then length in terms of centimeter, t in terms of seconds. So if he does this and half this, then everything over here will be difficult. So what is my force? 200 into 2.5 kgm centimeter. If I write it like this, will it be correct or wrong? No, no, what did I say when he asked me question up KGF me yahara kya is for centimeter me up here. If two point five the up kya was the other one, centimeter me up here. Whatever. So, one keeps a day, he's saying he just wants this. Then KGF and displacement is in terms of centimeter. It is? Uh, I'll tell you why such mixing up because of blender. It is good that you are raising such questions, but you'll understand why. Now, you can get KGF up to force stop unit, but up to the force actually can force is mass into what acceleration or after you KGF, this acceleration by unit is centimeter. Can we use another marker? Can't see. Yep. So it is 5000 joules. The second one was power, since we know that power is what equal to work on the height. Work done, we already know it's 5000. And time maker was 5, so this is 1000. How much? One hour power is equal to how much? 762. 746. 746, yes. It's okay. It's okay. So it, it's okay. So he is asking. I know even others are aware if in case this is done. So if you check your uh, machines, which are huge machines, they will be using horsepower. Yeah, they will be using a okay, huge amount of energy. And in those cases, we put the uh, unit again, take a new unit where we use horsepower and this one horsepower is equal to 746 horse. And you just have to remember this. This uh, You have to remember the relation. Uh, okay, this is clear. And uh, it was, uh, is it you, Shorya? Yeah. Ma'am, can you keep the answer in joule per second instead of what? No. Uh, yes, so wherever, yeah, so Pratik here, when I had asked work done, he directly jumped to MGH. So, yes, he was okay. using MGH, MGH work done is MGH, MGH. So, this MGH is coming, this is the case when you are working against 
force of gravity and exactly in opposite direction this was the case where we all know that force of gravity is in downward direction okay and the object was being lifted in upward direction so at whatever height you bring it at that particular height if you are bringing it the work done for that is if you see if you see we already know that force is what mg and the displacement in this case is you are bringing it to certain height so that is why you are directly putting this formula called mg h but that is the case when the displacement is Opposite of the direction of the gravitational force. Okay, we do not have any uh, other uh, component here. Its work done is equal to m g h. So even you can use this. We will be using this uh, in other problems. And uh, yes. Okay, so all right. So she is asking in this part. This was KGF and so this patient. So she is basically asking how did we convert two hundred KGF into Newton. What did I write? KGF into Newton. Okay. So if you know, if I simply write one kg, if I only write one kg, am I intending to say that one kg is force, or do I intend to say one, one kg is mass? Mass. 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 Right. So this one kg is mass, but in the uh, when we talk in terms of our weight also i think when i was discussing this part surely in this class i believe i said when we say that my weight is 40 kg my weight is 90 kg whatever we do not mean my weight by weight you mean you do not mean mass you actually do the measurement by using the force of gravity pull so when you Stand on that weighing machine. So, how much force are you applying on that uh, weighing machine? Is what is weight, and weight is force. force. So, when you say one kg is your weight, how do I get that one kg weight? I believe that that one kg of mass is applying some force. That force is due to force of gravity. So, this one kg, and how much will this one kg apply in force? It will be one kg. One kg is my body mass. My one kg. And how much is the gravity? Nine point eight. So how much is this one kg applying force? This one kg is applying force of one into nine point eight. Understood what I'm doing? So this is mass into gravity. So one into nine point eight newton force. It is applied. Okay. When they say it is two hundred kg f. They say that this two hundred, this body, they keep the mass value same. Okay, they say this is one kg, this body, and it is applying force. I now know that when body is one kg, it applies how much newton force? One into nine point eight. It is nothing but g newton nine point eight newton. When it is one newton, uh, one kg of force. If it is two kg of two kg uh, weight, then how much force will it apply? Two into nine point eight. But the problem happens when you interchangeably use kg as weight and kg as mass to define, make a difference. When you say kg, you actually mean mass, and when you speak kgf, you mean it is force. But then this value is value of what? The mass multiplied by when you have to convert this in newton, just like you did for one kg. I will say this is one kg mass, and how much force it is applying? One kg f force it is applying, and if I have to convert that into newton, I will say it is one kg of mass multiplied by nine point eight newton. In this question, they said take nine point eight as ten, so they made your job very easy. Okay. 
So in this case, my weight is not one kg; it is two hundred. So it will be two hundred into ten newton. That is the force. Okay. Yeah, two hundred into ten is two thousand. Okay, that is my force in newton. Let's find it. Uh, yes. So we must now. We, I was saying that I have missed variable force part. So whenever there was question, whenever there was question, you were very easily able to apply value of when work is to be done, force into displacement. The force value was always constant. You could simply plug in some value, fifty newton or like two hundred and ten, two thousand. But what if you know force is changing? Like if you are pushing something, it is moving, but over a period of time. If the force applied by you is not constant, sometimes you are putting ten newton, so it has got to be a little two newton. Then, 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 All right, all right. So this is important. Pay attention. So what happens is, in such cases when force is changing, you use graphical method. You say you apply force uh, in y axis. You see displacement on x axis, and you know if you're plotting then. अगर आपने इतना फोर्स अप्लाई किया था तो देयर इज दिस मच डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड एज वी सेड देयर वाज सम अदर अमाउंट ऑफ फोर्स चेंज सो व्हाट एवर चेंज इन फोर्स इज देयर आई एम सॉरी माय टाइम इज सो फोर्स इज चेंजिंग यू से डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज चेंजिंग यस एंड इन दिस केस व्हेन दे आर आस्किंग यू टू फाइंड वर्क डन सो वर्क डन इन दिस केस वर्क डन इन दिस केस इज एरिया अंडर द कर्व इट इज एरिया अंडर द कर्व So, if I you are putting yes laws of motion, if you are wanting to know area, sorry, work done from zero to ten uh, meter for zero to ten meter uh, displacement. Tell me how much is the work done? Then you draw, you check. This is my graph. So area under this uh, graph is this. It is a right angle triangle. You know what is area of right angle triangle? Half into base into height. Half into base into height. So you do find the area, and that is equal to your work done. Okay, that is nothing but F into S. All right. So that is how you get the value. This was a small part which I missed. And from uh, S into S cos theta is remaining. S into F cos theta is remaining. All right. So uh, it's not remaining, but you already know. But your textbook has given the like when we had begun defining work done. We said if you apply force, you see displacement. Then there is some work done, and we started with just uh, defining work done is. Force into displacement we call the work is force into displacement. Then we even went ahead that okay, this displacement should be in the direction of line of action of force. And I think using that we brought in a theta component, and then we came to the formula called F S cos cos theta. The same thing can be derived. The same thing can be derived. Using another method, which he is saying is the main. So, what is that? So, I think we started like this. Yes, right. We had if we apply force in this direction, and if displacement is also in the same direction, then the very first definition which said that displacement and force they are. Work in same uh, line of action of force, so we simply take F into S and cos theta is zero. The second one was if force is applied like this, if force is applied in this direction, then I told you that all the body moves in this direction, but you cannot take this one as just the displacement. 
okay we have to take the displacement in the line of action of force and since my line of action of force was like this i see that it moves from here i check where is the point over here so i see that in line of action of force this moves from this point to this point and this one the value of this length it is cross sorry yes so it is moving the actual movement is from this point to this point but why do we take this value because of the definition part that we had studied i think this is that i am about to go to the extra part i think you have forgotten why do i take this part because the definition said that you have to take displacement in the direction of line of action of force and this is my line of action of force i extended all right and what is my displacement displacement is like this point and this point so i check where is those where are those points lie in the this uh, force of action line of action of force that is this value so i take this value and that comes to s cos theta because this is where my uh, where i am defining my theta this is my s this value is s cos theta all right the other one which your textbook says what if you the other one that your textbook says is they say that instead of uh, taking the component let me read you all so this one is going to be trickier to understand so in the uh, previous case we were finding the the uh, uh, force direction mein theta ka uh, s ka value kya hai in the line of action of force in this case hum dusra karenge hum aap, aapne jo force apply kiya which was like this force was in this direction yes we will find that this is displacement to is direction mein hua r a is to bring both of them in same direction s or f in the same direction mein aa jaye that is our a okay yes. so s or f is direction mein aata to apne s ko shift kar diye yahan pe to s or f same direction mein aa gaye yahan pe hum s ko aise hi rehne denge aur uske along ye force ye force jab aisa yahan ja raha hai to uska component ye force ke jo component hum bolte hain what we basically do is this is uh, if it if you have not understood this then please uh, let ask me so that i explain it again so what happens when you are applying a force in one particular direction okay it has its component also in which it is resulting okay when i was applying force in this direction i saw that the effect was in this direction okay and when i apply it in this direction there is some another uh, result so what happens is when this is my actual force and i want to find how much it is pushing in this direction and how much it is pushing upper the direction mein so i can call those as my components fx and fy all right and how do i get this component is if if this may theta then last warning or else tomorrow itself we will have to take both of it all right both of it. uh so because you are distracting me it's okay if you do not want to but let others not get distracted because i am waiting this this five minutes all right so uh, yeah where was i yeah so this th we are about finding the split that components how much is fx and fy so if i put this as theta then the value of this becomes f cos theta because in the direct in this uh, ye jo uh, theta se jo jude hui arm hoti hai that is cos component and this is sin. f sin theta component how do we get this value i'll show it if you know that this sin and cos theta are always found when you have a right angle triangle, triangle. triangle all right then i have drawn this i have drawn another line and what the right angle triangle this is my theta this is something called o x and y okay i am going 
I'm trying to find OH time. So OH is what? This is theta. Okay, let's not do. Let's find S sine theta and cos theta. In this particular diagram, what is sine theta? Sine theta ke hota hai, theta ke opposite wala, which is x y, x y upon what is my hypotenuse? O y. I will just write hypotenuse. Okay. Cos theta ke hota hai toh Cos theta hota hai. The resistance upon O x upon O y. All right. Now. I told you ये ये जो f x की आम है ना इस नथिंग बट o x वाली आम, so o x क्या हो जाएगा? Hypotenuse into cos theta. What is the hypotenuse? F component so it is f cos theta. Similarly, आपको ये वाला measurement चाहिए x y. x y is nothing but a parry to y axis. So they are also same. This and this are same because they are exactly parallel geometry है. So f y component क्या होगा? Value of x y और x y क्या है? Sin theta into hypotenuse theta hypotenuse ka f so it is f sin theta so f sin theta f cos theta is this part clear I'm splitting the components ma'am sum में कैसे evaluate करना है कौन सा सारे components आपको ऐसे सम आएंगे आपको derivation कराया आपको derivation का part आएगा तो आपको तो explain करना अच्छा you will not get numericals like this but he said we have missed this point it's what he reminded me so what your textbook is trying to say and what they have drawn and trying to explain that so that you do not get blank what is happening over here we have not done that okay i'll give you some time to go through this part after explaining are we done thoda to samajh aaye what are we doing hum dekh rahe hain ki iska is direction mein kya component hai aur us direction mein kya yes now hamara force kis direction mein tha ye direction mein tha we can split in two direction Which direction am I interested in? Of course, ये line में क्या force apply हो रहा है मुझे तो यही जानना है. Because यहाँ से यहाँ पहुँचाने का जिसने काम किया है उसी force के बारे में हमें interest है. So I will try to find what is the force in this, this direction. All right. And in this direction, when you solve it by a geometry, you will see that you will see this is my f and this component. Do I show it to you? All right. To make it easier for you in terms of geometry. Sorry, what? Let's say force is uh, being added in this direction. I'm just trying to make it easy. I want the component in this direction, which is in like this. This is theta. Yes, this is vertically opposite angle. Theta. This is f. This is theta. Theta se jo jodi hui hum bolte the aur jaldi. Ye f hai. Theta se jodi jo hum bolte hain wo kya hoti hai? F cos theta. Ye f hai. Aur ye hum uska component janna tha kya hoga? Which is separated by theta. So component kya hoga? F cos theta. This is another way of bringing again the same thing. So, ये side में force कितना apply हो रहा है? F cos theta. और displacement कितना है? S. So, work done is F cos theta into S. Again, we come to the same conclusion that work done is F S cos theta. But your textbook has shown two ways to reach this method. I would really recommend you to go through this second part and see if you are not able to understand what they are trying to explain. Can you what? I thought you will draw this and draw it. So it was wrong. I would recommend you to draw this part because this is the main thing where you are just splitting force into components. Okay, and if you understand this part, then it becomes easy. And if you are not, yes. I am going to explain the uh, splitting of force into two parts again. I am not getting that. All right. Uh, by the time, uh, and I will uh, by the time explaining. Sorry, I am definitely asking all of you to go through that textbook part. See if you are not able to understand. Uh, part is uh, yes. By finding the component of force along the displacement, page twenty one. I am coming to same conclusion, but uh, 
yes shorya what we are doing over here is you understood this part why we were doing that right there are two ways either we find force ke direction mein displacement kya hai or else hum displacement ke direction mein force actually kya apply hua tha we check that yeah. since a force and i want to find the component which is resulting in this displacement so that component i need to find how do we do that component is using this thing so if there is normal force given so if there is normal force given in any direction and if i want to find the i want to find this component at any angle theta let's call this as theta so this is fx this is fy then what is this fx value i already told that is f cos theta so jo uh, uh, main force ke arm um, theta se judi hoti that we use cos component and this is f sin theta and how do i find this is i have shown this so this is what is this that value for finding that value i draw perpendicular line because sin theta cos theta are all with respect to right angle triangle so i have draw right angle triangle and i want to find fx ka value fx ka value janna to main ek numbering kar de rahi hu ox so ox component batayega fx ka value kya hai so how much is ox how will i find it i find what is cos theta value cos theta kya hota hai cos theta is equal to the adjacent arm or option base pull there base upon hypotenuse this is my base ox upon hypotenuse so ox is the arm ox kaun si arm represent kar rahi hai fx and hypotenuse kaun sa arm represent kar raha hai actual force so cos theta is equal to fx cos theta is equal to fx upon f so ye fx ka value kya ho jayega right? this f goes here so fx is equal to f cos theta and similarly you solve it and you find f phi is equal to f sin theta and that logically apply here maine theta component dekha ki it is vertically opposite angle and uh forces in this direction and the arm which is adjacent to the theta becomes cos component so f cos theta okay all right Uh, have you gone through? Have you understood to some extent what they are trying to say? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So who has not understood? Quickly, you know, if you have any particular doubts, please do. And we can quickly discuss this. All is still going. Clear? Over here, I do not. I do not get this response. Maybe you are not the one speaking. And uh, understood. This one you are not understood. Ma'am, that uh, uh, how can be how do you do this? That how will I understand this? <laughs> Think or take a day, go through it, and then try to come up with proper question. What is the question? All right. Uh, how much time do we have? Five minutes. Five minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. All right. All right. Eleven minutes. We can quickly get energy part started, and the uh, difference between you know work and energy and what exactly it is. So uh, you now know for work to get done, there should be displacement. That too with certain conditions. Energy is something which is you all know what is energy, and we have studied that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. We all know, so yeah, it converts from one form to another form. So in this case, what we are trying to say that what is energy? They say energy is the capacity to do the work. So energy is what capacity to do. Certain amount of work, okay. And of course, we know when you are doing work, one energy is getting converted into another energy. So that is the relation between work and energy. To do work, you need energy, okay. And what is energy? Energy. Yes, ma'am. The same thing. Class. 
A machine raises a load of seven fifty newton through a height of sixteen meter in five seconds. Is this something like previous question? There was body you lifted yes. at certain height in certain time. In that case, were you able to calculate work done? Now I am calculated question number five. All right, so <laughs> instead. Okay. The previous question. This is similar to that question itself. In fact, this is even easier. In previous question, they made it difficult for you. They had not given you directly extra unit of force. They told you 20 kg at the dose of kg. Now they have directly they have said it is 750 newton. The so force is also given in terms of force, and displacement is also vertical. And you know force. Mgh. Mgh will go up and then force into displacement. You will get the value for work done. Which work for me? Clearly, we are just spending time. Mgh. 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 Mgh.